So what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Are you tired of seeing Dollar General sale videos yet? I told you it was going to be several after I did that one. The sale ends on March the 11th. You got to get out there before their store closes at last night to get 50% off select DVDs. So let's get into the video. I'll talk a little bit about what I did and then I'll show you a store hunt and then come to the end of the video and you'll see the haul. I'll have chapters, don't worry. So what are we waiting for? Let's get into it. Let's go. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Jeff Man 316 Pop Culture Reporter channel, that is. I'm your host, as always, Jeff Man 316. That's me on the sign, and Jeff Man 316 Live is where we talk movies on the weekend. So come over there when we do live streams, usually Sunday nights at 10 Eastern. Um, a lot of times we'll do the WWE pay-per-views on Saturday nights or Sunday. We'll probably watch night two of WrestleMania. And then support me on social media, JeffMan316 on Instagram. I'm going to do giveaways in the future. You need to follow me over there so you can see it. I also post little funny pop culture things that I see throughout the week on there. So yeah, Dollar General, 50% off select DVDs. It's Sony DVDs and then a couple of other, like one other kind. It's on the sticker. I'm going to show you because this store that I went into actually had a sign up that explained. Can you believe it? What the sale was. So yeah, we went into a Dollar General locally. That was the last video. And then I went out of town and I was doing a Goodwill hunt and they had a Dollar General that I hadn't been into in a while. So I went back in there. They had three sections of movies. I dug around. I recorded a little bit, not a lot. They had one of those rotating things, uh, bins. They had a, a bin that had two or three layers deep. Movies just stacked up hard to find. And then as I was leaving, I found another movie on, as I was going out on a little display. So let's get into a little bit of footage. Let's come back here at the end and I'll show you the haul. Let's go. I'm like the post office through rain, sleet, or snow. Well, no, not really, but through rain, I'll go out and movie hunt for you guys. So they have a ton of just movies just stacked around. It says... DVDs exclude Sony or SPHE on the sticker. So most of the ones on that little rack are Sony. But they do have this big um, spinner rack. It's got the same sign on it. It's sales through March 11th. So let's dig into it a little bit. Um, I'll try not to make this too boring and we'll see what they got. A lot of Disney titles. Anything multi movie pack like that, excuse me, I'm going to consider. So. Yeah, Dallas Buyers Club, Her. So they got some decent uh, titles. Prisoners. That's a really good movie. Dolphin Tale 2. I remember buying... They had a buy one, get one free sale. It hadn't been that long ago. And I, I, I did buy a lot of these already. So that's a maybe a, a choice right there. Sherlock Holmes, Pete's Dragon. Not really interested in that. I'm not a big fan of those live action Disney movies. Get Great Gatsby. I don't think I've got that. I might have to pick that up. Alice Through the Looking Glass. I'm pretty sure I've got. Ratchet and Clank. I think I got before. I really need to log these fucking movies in. What else they got? Matrix Reloaded. Rocket Man's good. I got all these movies here. How many copies of Dolphin's Tale 2 do you need? This is an excellent deal here on this three-pack. Wedding Singer Going the Distance, music and lyrics, that's good. I would recommend that for five bucks all day and night. Now that Christopher Robin, that's one of the live action ones I've seen on cable and I would consider getting. American Sniper is good. Edge of 17 is excellent if you don't have that already. I'd recommend that. Master. I'm pretty sure I got that. The Last Sale. Nightcrawler's great. Dumbo, not so good. Anybody know, is that Cinderella any good? Wrinkle in Time. Badlands, Lorax, Mary Poppins, Father Figures, Otis, 
So a lot of repeat titles. Maybe they got a couple that are good. This musical set I've gotten before. That's a great deal for five bucks. Jupiter Ascending in turn. Lots of good choices here. I just have most of this stuff. Horrible bosses. Point Break. That's Point Break 3D. I should have bought the 3D version of that one instead of the other one. Ton of repeat titles here. Some anime, if anybody likes anime. Gemini Man. Pretty sure I got that. I got the steel book of that. So let's get up over here. Get off my old knees over to the other side. This is mostly DVDs over here. Nothing great. Got some treasure hunt stuff. Got a few, few Blu-rays sprinkled in. See that New Year's Eve uh, is more individually than what you pay for half the that other set. The gang's all here. I'm not really going to pick up a lot of DVDs unless it's anything special. Like these multi-movie packs you guys should be uh, getting for sure. Especially like that one. Domino is excellent. I love that movie. I've got all the, the movies in that set individually. What the hell is this? Oh, I thought that was something cool. Oh well, sorry, nothing really cool. Over to the next side. Got a few Blu-rays on this side as well. Goonies with a slip. Jersey Boys, Tarzan. Collateral Beauty. Oceans 12. Acceleration, I bet that's a, that's a winner right there. I don't know if I've got... I think I got that on a DVD from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to have to pick that up. Nothing new in that section. There's that musical one, Dr. Doolittle. So lots of kids and Disney titles for you to choose from. Mary Poppins Returns. Inside Out. Fearless. That might be an option. The beginners already got. Yeah, not much new here. Outsider. More copies of Dumbo. They'll never get rid of that. Lord of the Rings. Trolls. Yeah, not too much on this rack. I don't know if I've got that movie. But at least they got a lot of Blu-ray options in here. Dang. Not much we need. A couple 3D titles. Dolphin Tail. 3D Dolphin Tail. I don't, I don't think I need that in 3D. Damn. Oh, well. I doubt I'll pick that up. Yogi Bear. $6.95. Don't see a lot else. A lot of repeat titles. Oh, Sharknado. Look at there. Something borrowed. I'm pretty sure I've gotten that one before. Lots of point break father figures. Man, they're going to have to give that shit away. Nobody's going to want those. Not that many copies. Let's dig a little bit. Nope, nothing new down there on the bottom. So over here on this rack, they got this Canon film set. I already own that, so that'd be half price. That'd be good. And they got this Charlie and the Chocolate Factory 10th anniversary set. So lots of cool little sets there. Got this Scooby-Doo Spooky Tales. Did we find that at the Dollar Tree? Rake. I know I found that at the Dollar Tree. But I found this Woodstock set in here for $20, which would be $10. 40th anniversary set. I found that by digging down through the bottom. So... There is buried treasure here in Dollar General. You just got to dig for it. Let's get home and I'll show you what I picked up.
So hopefully you enjoyed that little bit of footage, and I'm going to just let you know. I tried to pick through basically any uh, Blu-rays I thought would be worth it for me, or I could save as gifts to people. And I bought a few more than I was really planning, so I'll show you why. Um, is why I say that I wasn't planning on spending much money, but um, I did get a coupon at the on the receipt of my local Dollar General that was five dollars off. So you can use that on the, on the Saturday only. It's usually on Saturday. So by the time you watch this video, uh, you won't be able to use the coupon if you would have gotten it. So because it's usually like I said only on Saturdays. But in the future, if you do this type of thing, watch out for the coupon you get during the week, and you can use them on the weekends. But Let's get into the movies. I went ahead and bought this set. It's four movies. This would have been half price of five bucks. I already own Space Jam, and I'm pretty sure I have Where the Wild Things Are, but I got that for Legend of the Guardians and the Yogi Bear movie. A movie I definitely would not have bought unless it was two bucks. Dragon Ball Evolution Z Edition. I'm not a big Dragon Ball Z fan, so I probably won't know anything about what the hell's going on in this movie. Um, so either way, uh, it says previously viewed. I've never had an issue with the previously viewed ones. I think I only got this one other previously viewed one. You know, I don't have this movie in my collection. I figured for five bucks I would get it. It's a Christopher Robin. I've never even seen this. So I'm not a, a huge fan of Disney live action movies. Um, there's only a select few that I like. So sorry um, if, if you... Uh, think less of me for that but christopher robin it's got the blu-ray and the dvd disc in there hopefully it's not destroyed here's definitely a set that i would not have bought unless it was on sale paid 350 for this for miss congeniality one and two i've seen the first one it was pretty decent never seen the second one here's a, a set that's got a really good deal um i own um i think the sex in the city the first movie this has got the first the, the two Sex in the City movies, New Year's Eve and Valentine's Day. So that was three bucks. So that's a good deal. I got several more. Oops, sorry. Sorry about that. I got several more Blu-rays. These were all $2 each. Uh, Jet Li's Fearless Director's Cut. I know I don't have that one, so I thought that was a good deal. Uh, movie, I think... I might have seen this in the Dollar Tree. If I did, it might have been on DVD. I don't think I have it. Me Before You. Um, definitely a movie that I would not have normally bought. I think I made fun of this when I saw it in the Dollar General that time. But Acceleration. Dolph Lundgren. And I think it's got uh, Rampage Jackson and Chuck Liddell and Danny Trejo in it. Look at that shit there. Oh, and I forgot it's got Sean Patrick Flannery in it. Um, a movie that was part of a double DVD set that I got from at the Dollar Tree. Everything, everything. So this is an upgrade for me. And then a movie I've told you in one of my videos, I'm not a huge Leonardo DiCaprio fan. There's a lot of his movies I don't have. I like some of his later stuff now. So I went back and I went ahead and got Gatsby, or The Great Gatsby. Um, I think I've seen that on cable. So we're going to round out. The rest of these are either sets or DVDs, and I'll show you why. I got this. It looked weird as hell, and it's a full moon release, and it was only $1.50. It is The Dead Want Women with Eric Roberts. So I thought that was kind of cool to get a full moon release in there. Um, I got this because I'm a big Peanuts fan. Peanuts School Days. So I, that was ten bucks. I got it for five. Twenty nine all new shorts. Um, this I own the movie, the regular edition. Uh, but I got this because it was the tenth anniversary and it was only three bucks, and it's got a book. So I like these collector sets. So this will just replace my regular version. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. We obviously got Wonka here recently, which was the prequel. This is the remake of the original. Not a huge fan of Johnny Depp in this. But look, it comes with that book there. So speaking of sets, the last one is a movie that I have. I bought it a long time ago at Dollar General. 
I got the 999 version that only had the movie. Um, I don't think it had any swag with it, but I got the Woodstock Three Days of Peace and Music 40th Anniversary Director's Cut set that looks like it's got an iron on patch, three single ticket re reproductions, reproduction of the Life magazine from 69, and reproduction of 1969 newspaper clippings. So it's got all of that swag in there along with the movie. So this will replace my regular one. So what do you guys think of that? Like I said, I ended up getting, I didn't, you saw me find that um, musical set in there and I already had that. So I didn't want to rebuy it, but I thought I, I did a pretty good job of mixing it up with, uh, with different kinds of movies. What do you think? I thought that was a pretty good deal. So if, it, if you like that, how about liking the video? Like, comment, subscribe, share, do all the normal YouTube stuff. Keep supporting me. I'll keep making great content. If you are a supporter, hit the notification bell. You'll know when I post new videos. That'll be it for Dollar General Hunts because by the time I post all these, the sale will probably be the last day or to be over. March 11th. If you're watching this and it's still March 11th or before, go out and go to your Dollar General and hit up some 50% off movies and get those clearance Blu-rays. So until next time, boys and girls, this has been JeffMan316. I'm your pop culture reporter, and I'm signing out saying you guys be safe out there. Thank you, God.